Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, April the 9th, 2019, and this is episode 3001. My name is Bruce Turner. Thanks for being a part of today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, The One and Only. Stay tuned. So I was reading in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, chapter 45, some profound verses that I will share with you today. And I was just thinking about the fact that this God that we serve is the one and only. Now, we live in a very pluralistic society, and people want to talk about all these uh, deities and um, uh, things that they suppose are God, higher powers, etc. But I'm here to tell you this morning from Scripture that there is only one God, and his name is Jehovah. He is the Almighty God, the God of the universe, the God who spoke the world into existence. Now, I'd encourage you to do this and see what you find. But if you Google the phrase, the one and only, you come up with all kinds of interesting things. Like, I guess they paid for the for the Google AdWords. You, you, you get first on the search results, the one and only luxury results, result, resorts, excuse me. Then you find a novel called The One and Only uh, by Emily Griffin. And then there's uh, there's a song called The One and Only by Chesney Hawks. And um, there's these award-winning hotels, resorts in Los Cabos, Mexico, the one and only. But I'm here to share with you today that the one and only is God himself. Listen to what these passages of scriptures say. Isaiah 43:10. You have chosen me as your witness and servant so that I may know and believe you and understand that you are the Lord. Before you, no God was formed, nor will there be one after you. Isaiah 45, 5 and 6. You are the Lord and there is no other. Apart from you, there is no God. From the rising to the setting of the sun, We know there is none besides you. You are the Lord, and there is no other. Chapter 45, verse 21 and 22. You, the Lord alone, have declared what is to come from the distant past. There is no God apart from you, a righteous God and a Savior. You see, there's Jesus. There is none besides you. You are God, and there is no other. Isaiah 46, 9. I will recall to mind the former things, those of long ago. You are God, and there is no other. You are God, and there is none like you. I'm reminded of the course. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. You could search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. Do you know him today? Do you know for certain if you die today that you'd go to heaven? This God for whom there is no equal loved you so much that he sent his only begotten son Jesus to die on the cross. He was buried and rose again proving that God was satisfied with the payment he made for our sin. Have you trusted him? Have you believed in him? Have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus Christ? Do you know this God for whom there is no equal? If you do, listen, you know God, the only God, the God who has no equal. He is full of grace and mercy and he's for you today. Lean into him because he is the one and only. 
Oh, Father, thank you. Thank you so much that I was able to hear a clear gospel message as a young boy and came to faith in you. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness over all of these years, for being the one and only, and for revealing yourself to your children. Help us to serve you well today, to be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Have a wonderful day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Choose joy.